Hey everyone, Demon Knight here, and in this video I wanted to show you guys my Deputy Wilhelm build. And I've been sitting on this build for quite a while, but um, I might do some changes on this build in the future, but for now I wanted to make a video about it. Um, so the main gun of this build is the Flare, or pretty much any Jacob's shotgun I have on here. I also have a Quad, um, a Striker, another Flare with a Dox prefix and a Moon Phase. Um, the quad obviously is really powerful, especially with glitches. Um, the striker works really well with Wilhelm's no recoil abilities, um, but I'll get to that later. And then the dogs flare. Um, I prefer the rustless flare because it does more damage on body shots. But of course, on critical hits, the dogs flare will work better, so I have them both on here. And the moon phase um, works really well with a class mod on here, so I'll get to that later on as well. Um, then I have a Phrygia, obviously to freeze enemies, and a Gatling gun. Now this weapon works really great on this build, and I might even prefer it a bit over the Flare. Um, especially if those glitches kick in, it's really great. Um, and then IVF, mainly just to kill badasses or bosses, or get second wins. But you shouldn't have any troubles to kill bosses or badasses with these guns here. Um, then for the shield, I mainly use a black hole because it works really nice with Wilhelm's shield buffs. Um, but I also have a re-router re re here for some extra damage and the Nord also works really great. Um, for the grenade, I use a storm front uh, just to take down enemy shields or weaken them. And for the class mod, um, I have three class mods. Um, not class mod, for the os kit, I have three os kits here. Um, a precision strike oskit, a tranquility strike, or, uh, tranquility oskit, and a systems purge. Um, obviously, the systems purge is just for some extra damage, but I would only use it in an atmosphere. And the tranquility oskit is pretty nice, but I kind of prefer the precision strike because the accuracy can really help a lot. Um, and then for the class mod, I chose the celestial, celestial enforcer because I think the skills that it boosts are overall pretty nice, especially the targeting scope and afterburner boosts. But I also have three other class mods here, um, a Mauler class mod, this works really well with shotguns because of the passives, um, a high-tech projector class mod. Now this works really well because of the skills that it boosts, um, which really help your shield. And Vengeance Cannon, to which I'll get in a second here. And then I have a Howitzer class mod. Now this works really great with the Moon Phase I mentioned. Because you will get both that um, explosive damage and critical hit damage. And it also boosts targeting scope and fire support, which definitely also isn't a bad skill. But I chose the Celestial Enforcer, because in general it's the best out of those, I think. Um, then for the spec, this is mainly just a spec to deal a lot of damage with Jacob's weapons, but it's also focused around Wilhelm's shield, and that's because of Vengeance Cannon. And if you didn't know, if Vengeance Cannon is active, you'll actually have no um, crosshair movement at all. So if I shoot the Gatling gun here, you can see my crosshair spreads out. Um, but if I stripe down my shield, you get Vengeance Cannon active you see it doesn't move at all. Um, that movement right there is just because of my awesome. And that works really great with some weapons. Uh, hello there enemy. <laughs> um, like the striker or the gatling gun or some pistols here. I also have the maggie and the pepper box on here. So yeah that's pretty much my deputy Wilhelm build and I'm here in Pity's Fall and I guess we'll go through here and kill the bosom. Which shouldn't be a problem because this build is pretty strong. Um, in general, deputy builds in TBS are pretty strong. Um, if you've seen Dirge videos on this, um, he has a bunch of deputy builds um, about Athena, Aurelia, um, and Jack. And of course, on Nisha, it works really nice too. And the only character I haven't really seen something like this would be Claptrap, but I bet it works great on him as well. Yeah, as you can see here, um, the flare is just an awesome shotgun, deals a lot of damage and works really great with the speed. Yeah, 
yeah, and that's where the Vengeance Cannon comes in handy if you have something uh, further away from you. You definitely want a tight crosser, and the Vengeance Cannon really helps with that. Um, what's also really great um, with this build is because you're using it on Wilhelm, um, you will definitely have no problem getting up close to enemies. Um, because obviously with shotguns like these you want to be up close to deal a lot of damage. And that works really great with Wilhelm because of his tank abilities. Um, so you don't have to, uh, to worry about getting killed when uh, being close to enemies. And even fight for your life definitely isn't a problem with Wilhelm because of his skill termination protocols, which kind of works like um, Krieg's fight for your life skill. I I can't remember how it's called, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, at which you will explode at explode at the end, but you'll you'll you are wow oh, I really can't talk right now. You are also able to still shoot your gun guns and walk around so. It's definitely an awesome skill and it also does a lot of damage unlike unlike Creek skill. So yeah you definitely don't have to worry about survivability with Wilhelm. Um, and another great skill which you might might have just seen there is the skill Power Fist. Um, that one right here. Um, and you you can deal pretty massive damage with this um, to a frozen target um, because if you score a critical hit with that attack on a frozen target um, you'll get um, double the bonus from cryo damage if not even three times I'm not sure but at least twice um, because it's a melee attack and also because it's an explosive attack and that of course again works really great with this build because you want to be up close to enemies. And you can kinda use that like um, Zero's killing blow to finish enemies off or even to one shot badasses as you might have seen there. So I guess I'll also show you the Gatling gun here a bit. Um, with the Ors kit and the Gatling gun you actually don't even need Vengeance Cannon that much because as long as you're airborne you will still have a really great accuracy even when just um, spamming bullets. And of course, um, weapons like the Gatling gun are normally weapons which you want to aim down sights with, but with the Vengeance Cannon you will also be able to hip fire these, so that's also pretty nice. Alright, so I guess Wolf will kill that enemy over there.
I guess I can also use some of the other weapons I have on here just to show you guys. Um, let's just use the Striker and maybe the Maggie. Only Striker I don't normally use too often because it's just not as good as the Flayer. Um, but it works really well with Vengeance Cannon because it's a really accurate shotgun. And you can just spam it. Of course your screen will still shake a lot because Vengeance Cannon only affects the crosser and not actually the screen shaking. Um, but the screen shaking actually isn't too bad with this weapon. So let's go, go through here and we'll move on to the boson. And we've, ju we've then cleared out Pity's Fall and not really a problem with this build. I guess I also use the Maggie here a bit. Um, there's kinda a lot of just running around on this map without enemies, but I guess that's fine because it's still a pretty nice map. Um, but yeah, now we'll actually move on to the Bowser. And for him, I guess I can use the Um, pistols or Jacob's pistols don't work that great on this build um, because the screen shaking with them is pretty heavy so um, hip firing them with the vengeance cannon isn't the greatest idea and if I aim down sights um, <laughs> Wilhelm's power fist sometimes gets in the way of the side um, but of course it's still a Maggie and it will work and also the pepper box if the glitch is kicking. Alright, so let's equip the quad and the Gatling gun again. And get some ammo back. Welcome to my humble shop. A pleasure as always. As you can see that's pretty fast and absolutely no problems just face tanking him because Wilhelm has such great survivability skills. And let's kill this last enemy down here. There we go. Alright so that's my deputy Wilhelm build. Um, a pretty nice build in my opinion. As I said I might do some changes in the future but um, 
That's also because this is just a showcase video and not a full build video like my Scorcher build video. Um, but yeah, um, so far I'm pretty happy with this build. Let me know what you guys think about this build and if you have any requests just leave them down in the comments below. And I might do them. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and see ya.